Thank you eBay for sponsoring today's video. I'm sure you know that the majority of shopping that takes place during the calendar year happens in the time of year that we're in right now the last quarter of the year where most people are doing their holiday shopping, also known as Q4. Now, if you run an eBay store, which I'm assuming you do if you're watching this video, in just a few minutes, you should have some actionable steps to take to make the most out of this holiday season. So let's go over some things that you can do to improve your eBay store today. Now, the first one may seem obvious, but I can assure you all of us have either struggled with this one in the past or are currently struggling with it, and that is your death pile you need to get it listed. Now is the time of the year that the majority of people are doing shopping, so there is literally no better time to start tackling your death pile. Now, if you wanna go full force and knock it all out in one day, get that entire death pile listed, I applaud you, but if that seems like something that would burn you out very quickly, at the bare minimum, set yourself a goal, whether that's two things a day, five things a day, 10 things a day, whatever fits best into your schedule, start tackling that death pile and getting it listed slowly but surely or all at once because I can assure you, if it's not listed, it is not going to sell. And once again, this is the best time of the year to be selling on eBay. Now, once you have that inventory listed, there's some easy actionable things that you can do to increase the traffic and sales coming through your eBay store. Now, this is something that I recommend all the time if you follow the channel, and that is utilizing the promotional tools that eBay gives us. eBay has so many options. I'm just gonna go through a couple of the main ones that I recommend you look into if you wanna see more traffic in your eBay store. The first one being coupons. I always have a coupon running in my eBay store. The amount changes, sometimes it's 10%, sometimes it's 15%, but simply offering a coupon is gonna let your listing stand out ahead of your competitors because buyers are gonna know that they're automatically getting a discount if they decide to shop with you versus the other listings in the search results. Now, maybe you have some old inventory that just isn't quite selling. And this is where markdown sales are super valuable. A lot of the times the stuff that isn't selling for me is because I just don't have it priced properly. Utilizing a markdown sale on my old inventory is an easy way to bring that price point down to more appropriate price. Also on the eBay listing showing that it is on sale, making it more psychologically attractive to the buyers. So if you have old inventory, utilizing a markdown sell could lead to more sales in your eBay store. Now this next tool has several several different avenues that you can take it, but I can assure you at least one of them will be something that you can implement into your business and that is promoted listings. I promote every single listing in my store. I use the promoted listing standard to have a dynamic ad rate. I cap it off at 6%, but anything below 6%, I let eBay determine what they recommend the promotional value of that item is. And in October, literally 71% of my eBay sales came from promoted listings. So promoting your listings and getting them up to the top of the search results and not having to fight for a good rank in the organic traffic is an easy way to get more eyes on your listings, but it doesn't just stop at promoted listing standard. They also have promoted listings advanced, which is a pay-per-click advertising service. And since it's Q4, a lot of items that are doing really well right now are our brand new items. So if you're watching this and you sell a lot of brand new stuff and you say you have a ton of the same item, a multi-quantity listing, and you want that listing to generate a ton of sales and you know the exact keywords that those buyers are searching for, you can place a bid on those specific keywords, ensuring that your listing is gonna stay at the top of those search results when a buyer searches those keywords, making sure that your listing is always staying in front of your target audience's eyes. And then the last option within promoted listings that I'm gonna mention in today's video is, is semi-new, and I'm excited to be testing this one out, and that is off-site ads. As I'm sure you know, most shoppers don't just start on eBay, they're coming from places like Google or Facebook. So I'm sure that you could picture how valuable it could be to have your eBay listing showing up in Google search results. And eBay lets us do that with off-site ads. It's another pay-per-click option, but this one you just set a daily budget and once you start it, all of your eligible fixed price listings are going to be automatically promoted onto those external sites like Google and you're only paying when a potential buyer clicks on that listing up to your daily budget. So utilizing promotional tools like the coupon, markdown sell, or our promoted listings are an easy way to get more eyes on your eBay store year round, but especially here in Q4 when there's so much competition for those precious buyers. Which leads me to our third 
tip of today's video. Now that we have our death pile listed, we're utilizing the promotional tool. So we've got some sales rolling in, Q4 is really amping up. You need to make sure that you are stocked up on shipping supplies like boxes and tape and poly mailers and all these things that you need to get those orders shipped off to your buyers in a reasonable manner. Now, I personally, I've been there before. I've, I've had a good weekend of sales and I go to ship it and I realize that I don't have enough boxes to ship out my orders. And then it's a scramble to find the right size boxes, going to Walmart or Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever it is that you may find boxes, it's a headache. So go ahead, before those sales start rolling in, before you have a crazy weekend, make sure that you're stocked up on shipping supplies. I like to make sure that I have at least two months worth of shipping supplies handy at all times. So if you ship a lot of USPS, you can get their free shipping supplies from their website. And this is also a great time time to utilize your eBay store coupon if you have an eBay store to use that coupon on eBay branded shipping supplies like poly mailers and boxes. I personally use the boxes all the time to ship FedEx or UPS when I can't use the free USPS boxes. So make sure that you are stocked up on shipping supplies before those orders start piling up. And now for the last tip of today's video, and this one should be implemented year round, but especially now during Q4. But that is, you need to be providing exceptional customer service. Over communicating the information about the products that you're listing as well as over communicating within messages when you get questions from buyers is an easy way to mitigate returns, especially during the holiday season when it's known to have more returns than the rest of the year. And one area of that customer service that is more important this time of year than any other time of year is ensuring that you have the right shipping carrier and shipping method selected on every single one of your listings. The reason for that is before a buyer makes a purchase, the list is going to show them an estimated delivery date. And since we're doing a lot of holiday shopping this time of year, people have deadlines that they need their packages to arrive by. So if your eBay listing shows that it's gonna get there on a specific date, but you ship it a different courier service and it takes longer to get to the buyer, that could cause a problem. And the last thing we want is for our buyers to receive a holiday gift later than anticipated. So to recap, get your death pile listed. It's not gonna sell if it's not listed and now is the best time of year to get your listings up. Number two, once those listings are posted, utilize the promotional tools that eBay offers us. Offer coupons, run a markdown sale, use promoted listings, do things that are gonna get your items more exposure within eBay's search, ensuring that those items are going to sell much faster. Then number three, once those sales are rolling in, make sure that you are well stocked on shipping supplies before those sales start rolling in during the holidays. And then our last tip of the video, again, should be taken seriously year round, but especially during Q4 is provide exceptional customer service. If you do all four of these things, I can guarantee you that you'll have a smooth holiday season and your eBay store will be thriving. If you wanna see another video, I'll put a thumbnail to one right here. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video.